Hey everybody, this is Keith, uh, drummer for Disarray. Uh, I'm just giving a brief overview of the gear used uh, in live and uh, partial recording, some of the videos and stuff, uh, but mostly with the band. And I'm uh, going to show you a uh, couple of things how to uh, get a modern modern drum sound. Uh, pardon the webcam. <laughs> And uh, I am running no effects on the drums right now, so the room may seem a little small uh, than some of the other videos. Uh, I just wanted to show difference between uh, a couple of things uh, with uh, snare and kick being triggered with the D4 and not being triggered and uh, how much difference it actually makes. And just a brief overview of the type of kit, heads and everything that I'm using. Um, starting out, the kit is a DW Shelled PDP Platinum. Um, best bang for the buck. You know, I'm sure there's other good ones out there, but um, this is what uh, I was sold on. Uh, as far as toms, um, I use a G2 on my 8, uh, and EC2s on the rest of the kit, especially the floor, which is the only one that gets a piece of moon gel. Uh, snare is a black X um, with a, I think a Ambassador or a Evans uh, Hazy 300 on the bottom. Not sure which one I had on there. Uh, tuned rather high. Um, if you can hear that. Uh, toms, uh, usually tuned in a third. Uh, it has been very cold down here, so I'm sure there's a couple that are... <laughs> Not really in tune, but uh, as close as we can get, anyway. Uh, kick is a little higher than I normally run when it's not triggered. Uh, usually, I like to take the wrinkles out of the batter and basically the wrinkles out of the uh, resonant head, also. But in uh, this case, it uh, is a loose resonant with uh, a little bit more because of the kick port on it. Um, and the batter is a little tighter because of the rolling trigger on it for uh, uh, to run the Elisis D4. So, anyway, cymbals, uh, a vast blend of, uh, of crap, just uh, APX. B8s, um, XS20s, I got a China Low Boy, uh, MB8 medium, 22 uh, inch ride, uh, three Chinas, uh, 12, and two 18s, China Low, and a, uh, a old crappy B8, which uh, sounds very brash. And uh, although I have better ones, it's, uh, it actually records real well. very brash. I dig it. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, um, just whatever was in budget at, at the time and uh, what sounded good. Uh, let me play real quick and I'll just give you what the overall mix sounds like and we'll go from there. You get the idea. What I was going to show is uh, muting the track on the D4 so you can hear kick and snare and the differences. Here we go. We're muted. That's regular dry. Snare with an SM57. Uh, just the kick just with a digital reference. Nothing big. It's uh, it is EQ just to pick up some uh, low mid and some low end, try and get some attack out of it. And then we'll uh, unmute and you see the difference. It's about a 60 40 blend, maybe 50 50 on the kick. 
but the uh, snare you can barely tell. I'll hit it light and you can see. Right there, that last shot is where it came in. That's just a, a little touch in there for larger accent. That's all it is. You can really hear with uh, the snare being off. Set the trigger up just so your accents are picked up and nothing else so you get a much more natural sound. Hope you guys enjoy. If there's any other questions, please let me know. Um, next time I'll, I'll go through with, uh, with different tuning and how to actually uh, find the, the pitches or notes that you'd like and intervals to tune on. Appreciate it. Have a great day.